So when we pray, our Father who art in heaven, it makes us ask a question. What can we expect? What can we expect from a heavenly Father? And how's that different from the earthly dads we have here? I'll share my story. My dad died when I was a teenager. He never got to see me graduate. He never got to see me get married. He never met uh, my two little boys, his grandsons. He never got to see me become a pastor. Um, he gave me this, uh, this tie chain that I'm wearing right now. Uh, he gave me some ties to wear too. Um, I inherited some of those things from him. Um, but it's not the same having a tie chain as having a dad who's around. And I know that um, my Heavenly Father is different. Um, my dad is not eternal. That means he lives forever. But my Heavenly Father is. A big difference is my dad went away. He died when I was a teenager, but my Heavenly Father will never go away. So your situation may look different too. Maybe you don't have um, a dad in the picture right now. Or, or maybe your relationship with your dad isn't all you wanted it to be. Or maybe you, you have a dad who's great and you get along fantastic. And in all of those circumstances, whether your dad uh, looks like uh, the relationship I had with mine or differently, we know that our eternal Father in heaven uh, is even greater. As great as your relationship is with your dad, as, as much as you can trust him and take any problem to him, um, your heavenly Father is even greater. Because in a lot of ways, your heavenly father has the power to fix the things that your earthly dad can't. And if your dad here is absent or um, is angry a lot, maybe you're, you have trouble um, relating to him and feel like he understands you, uh, know that your heavenly father doesn't have any of those problems. Your heavenly father looks on you with love your Heavenly Father created you so He knows exactly how you work. Not just how your fingers and your heart works, but, but how your brain works, how your emotions work. Because He knows you. He, he made you the way you are. Your Heavenly Father loves you so much. And so we start this important, powerful prayer with acknowledging that we have a Father in Heaven who seeks to, to know us and love us the way a perfect dad would. Let's pray to him. Heavenly Father, we thank you for dads, uh, imperfect as they are. We know that there's no such thing as a perfect child either. So um, we confess to you for the, for the times that we haven't been perfect children and ask for your forgiveness. And we ask that you support the dads in our life. Do you help make them strong in faith and, and build them into the, the powerful uh, witnesses of Christ that they're meant to be in our lives. And we thank you ultimately for being our perfect heavenly father. That where um, earthly dads fall short, we know that, uh, we know that you are uh, bigger and more magnificent, more powerful and eternal, uh, covering all of the spots and flaws in our life and through Jesus Christ, covering the spots and flaws in our fathers as well. Uh, we thank you for this gift and we ask that you to continue to encourage us to pray to you, our gracious heavenly father. In Jesus we pray. Amen.